Hi, good night, everybody. No, I, here's what I think we have to fight about inflation here right now. That's what we need to fight about inflation. And I believe that, again, my doctors, the real doctors that I believe in, they all believe that I'm ready to be served. Uh, that, that's it. He, uh, he got his Pennsylvania right, house Mr. from his own inlays from a, a dollar. Mr. Oh, uh, I, I, I do support fracking. And I don't, I don't, I support fracking and I stand and I do support fracking. Okay. Now, we, we all have to make sure that everyone that works is able to, that's, that's the most American bargain, that if you work full time, you should be able to live in dignity as well. True. That, that's what I believe. I don't ever recall in the Statue of Liberty did they say, you know, you know, take our tired huddle masses and put them on a bus. Are there everybody in Braddock, uh, an overwhelmingly majority uh, community of, of black uh, community, all understood what happened. You know, they uh, they understood what happened and everybody agreed that and whether it was a fifty dollar tax break, you know, about his farm in Montgomery County. So it's about supporting and helping, you know, young earners, excuse me, young, uh, young, uh, young you know, students. How to, exactly, Mr. Federman, do you propose doing that to make it more affordable for a fam for families? No, I, I just believe I just making it that much more. It, it, it costs too much. And I believe providing the resources to, to reduce the tuition to allow families to be able to afford it. And they can't afford it anymore because of interest rates. I've talked to families. You want to cut five. Social Security. M Mr. Fetterman, it's his turn for his closing.